Uh, I want to take a shift here. I want to mm-hmm, ask mm-hmm. you about this new wave that's happening that you must have seen. Come okay. Drizzle, drizzle. I have no idea. You know what drizzle, drizzle is? Yeah. Okay, let me. I'm, I don't even like the sound of this drizzle. Let, let me let me break sip. it down. Have you heard? Have you heard of sprinkle, sprinkle? It's the woman's equivalent. No, go on. Okay, so sprinkle, sprinkle was from this woman who she's like big on social media, which basically is a woman who teaches other women how to finesse men for financial gain. So how to finesse men for like buying you a bunch of stuff for like paying for your rent, for like buying everything, right? Like soft girl era. Now there's this wave of men going drizzle, drizzle, being like, I'm in my soft guy era. Now you have to pay for the date. Okay, you have to pay for the rent. Like this one guy who's just like, yeah, I showed up to the date. The bill came and she looked at me like, aren't you going to get it? I'm like, excuse me, I'm, I look nice for you. You pay for this. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what planet is this? This is here, boy. Earth. This is here, boy. Wow. Yo, it is, honestly, I, I went to a rabbit hole, like absolutely binging this content and yeah. it's hilarious. But it's literally a bunch of guys basically saying, like now we're my soft guy era now. Now the women you have to pay. And then if a if a you know, if a guy's like, yeah, if you can't pay for the bill, just admit that you're broke. It's cool. Yeah. It's calm. Like if you're saying you need me to pay, admit that you're a brokey. It's fine. Do you know what I mean? Oh, uh, you gotta send me this content. I need Bro, to see it. It is so funny. So it's what, hilarious. What, do you what do you think about this this role reversal about now? Because women are earning their own money. Yeah. And actually women under the age of 30 are actually out earning their male counterparts yeah. now. So I guess why can't they step up to the plate and do what men have I think, you know done? what it is? Let me, let me tell you something. Mm. The reality is, yeah, women's rules are for the average person. They're not for that guy. I don't disagree. Yeah, they're not for that guy. That guy. If oh, you are him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For him? Mm. Oh, you, you you get to borrow the car with no license. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put a car in my name for you. Yeah. You know, you can stay with me, even mm. though, you know what I mean? Even though you ain't got nowhere to go. Yeah. Um, um, because women will do what men do for the guy that they think is better than them. Say that again. Women will do for the guy what men normally do for the woman. That if they- if if he if they believe that man is out of their league, Big facts. I've seen it. I've got friends who women would like they just like women think they are absolutely drop dead gorgeous and they will do anything, anything for this guy. Anything. Mm. But everyone else has to earn it. Mm. And, and and reality is, you know, the, the, the all women's rules of dating or whatever, that's for the majority. Yes. That's for the majority of people that are probably going to waste their time that they're not interested in. So they'll run f- them through that mill. But, mm. but for him, mm. she will pay for that date. But the irony, you're right. But She'll the, pay for that date. The irony is though, the guy that she would do that is probably more likely to waste her time because, well, if he's out of her league, then he's not going to choose because, her, right? because Because women enjoy hope. They want to change they, it. They like, they, they like hope. Mm. Yeah, that those two days where he was nice to you, because you've seen it, yes. now it's what's possible, but not what's probable. Mm. So they they love the hope that those two days are gonna become three days yes. and they become four days and seven days. Yeah. But they're always gonna be two days, but they don't know that. So then they're happy to give all of the stuff that everyone else who's probably earned it won't get. Yeah. Because you're average. I don't want to date you. You don't make me look good. I can't, I don't get no brownie points with you in the WhatsApp group. <laughs> So you're, I'm going to run you through the mill. You've you got to do what the average person you gotta do the has most. to do by him. I'm paying for all his food. I'm paying for him. I'm giving him money. And he ain't had a job in six months. Damn. He, you don't need to work, baby. I got you. That she, she will be a man for that guy. She will be a man for so that true. guy. That's so true. Okay, so let me ask you. How would you feel if you met a gorgeous woman You've hung out a couple of times. It's going really well. You really like who she is as who she is as a person, and you found out that she did this for the guy before you, but she won't. She's like, no, for you, you've got to date me. You've got to take it like all of this stuff. How'd that make you feel? She did what? So uh, she was. She was. So you know how you like for him. Like he put the car. She, I let him drive my car. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it was yeah, in yeah, My yeah. name. I paid for his insurance. Do you know I paid what? For yeah. his phone bill. I all think. Of that. I think. How I felt when that happened mm. was. It, it changed me. When you say it, when it happened. So what I mean by that is, I, I, I met a girl who I knew, right? Um, 
had dated like someone um, of stature before mm -hmm. and that person treated them like <laughs> shit. Okay. They complained about it. This is when I was getting to know them. They complained about it. They complained about it. Yeah. And they told me all the stuff that they've done for him. Mm. Meanwhile, they've exposed what they've done for him to me. Mm. Right? But I'm listening to this. Like, I, you know, I'm next. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? This is what's coming. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and then I've got to do, I've got to do all this extra shit that he didn't have to do. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm just saying? Yes. But, 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 but so for me, it, it, it changed me. It made me realize that that's when I realized that there's, there's him and then there's everyone else. And, 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 and in, in that moment, I became everyone else. I'm part of everyone else, yes. which you have to accept. But but the, but but it's, but today's Kojo ha, has been both guys. Yeah, I've been him, and mm. I've and I and I've been the average person, right? Mm. So now it's like, okay, well, um, I'm going to be him, and if you don't make me feel like him, then I'm not interested. Because yeah. when you can match my energy, then I can take you seriously. I know what I'm going to do. Yes. But I refuse to be the average guy being run through the mill. Yeah. The reality is I'm not him for you. Now, mm. now every man is him to somebody. Mm. Yeah. Every, every, every man, man, every man is him to somebody. You might not like who gives you the him role. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You yeah, might not, yeah, there's yeah, a girl true. out there that you just don't like, but she'll she'll treat but you, you like you are him. him to him. Sure. Big yeah, yeah, you see yeah, what I'm yeah. trying to say? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, um, that's the roundabout that people are on. Everyone's chasing the person that don't want them. Mm. Men yeah. and women, right? Yeah. Because they're forcing themselves to be him or her to that person. Yeah. But you're not it. Yeah. Yeah. And anything you gotta chase is running away from you. So what's the point? What are you doing? So for me, I think now I'm in a space where I've been on both sides and I've seen that I understand that the all women's rules are for the average man, mm -hmm. but he gets away with it. Yeah. Wait to the person that makes you him and you like them in that capacity and then, and then go on with you, your life. 100%. So let me ask you a question. Would you rather the girl who gives you a chance, but she treats, you're not him, but she's like, I'm open to it, but you're not him, but she's drop dead gorgeous. Or the girl who's attractive, not as gorgeous, yeah. but for her, you're him. Who are you choosing? The latter one, because that's who you marry. Amen. Th that's where you lay bricks. Yeah. You don't lay, the rest of it is like the first two pigs. Mm. It's what you want. You want you want your house to be with straw, but is that is that what you need? Yes. You, you want it to be uh, built with makeup, but, but is that what you need? Mm. Is that going to survive four seasons? Right? Very true. The girl... Who, who gives you what you need, right? Because mm. you can turn what you need into what you want, you know, but you can't always turn what you want into what, what you need. need. And, and, I, Boss, and I, I'm a firm believer in the latter is the one that most guys know they're going to marry. We yeah. know we're going to marry. I will have fun with the girl. Yeah. Because I call those girls vacations. <laughs> you go to Dominican Republic for a good time, you ain't living there. Whoever goes I, and I says, I'm going to live in... Who goes to Cabo in Mexico or Tulum and says, oh, I'm going to live here. No, you, you go because it's a good time. It's a good time. You get to loosen up. You get to be who you really want to be. Yes. But you go home to the place that rains all the time because there's more benefits yes. there. Because your needs are met there. There you go. that's home, et cetera. There you go. So do you think, do you think then, ironically the most attractive girls, because the more attractive she is, the less likely you're, you are to be him, right? Yes. Right? Yes. Like the more attractive a woman is, the less likely any guy is going to be him for yes, her, yes, right? Yes. So does that mean that ironically, the more attractive a woman is, the less likely you are to take her seriously because you're not him for her? Um. Yeah, but that's more of my issue. That's more of a me thing. Yeah. I, I take that as my, that's that's how I feel about it because that woman is in a privileged place. Mm. So I can't knock her because she's got that privilege. Sure. I've just got to digest that I'm not him mm. because of the level of op um, uh, options she has. Sure. Now those options might look better than that, than, 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 than I am. Mm. Because when it comes to character, I, I I believe I swim with the best. Yeah, 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 yeah. But 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 aesthetically, mm. she has the option of maybe what pleases her. She got the pool of every man, mm. and maybe I'm not her type aesthetically. Mm. But if it's a character mm. thing that they're looking for, then I, I, I swim with the best of them. Mm. So, 
I am confident enough to kind of just be like, I'm not for her. Yes. Because there's better options for her in based on aesthetics and what she's looking for. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. There's times when women come up to me and goes, You're so handsome. And I mm. and I and I don't feel handsome. Mm. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? But yeah. I'm I'm him for for that that person. Do you see what I'm trying yeah, to say? So of so I'm 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 confident enough and comfortable enough to know when I'm not him for somebody. Yes. And that person's out of my league, maybe aesthetically, mm. and has better aesthetic options than me. Mm. I, I'm not. I'm not ashamed to say that. Like my, my ego's not that big. Where I got everyone's got to like me. Do you know what I mean? Or yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I feel bad about rejection. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not that guy for for that kind of woman. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I think that's something that guys we have to learn. That it's funny because women will say oh, well, guys should make the first move because, you know, they're better at taking rejection. The only reason we're better is because we had to accept taking rejection yeah, growing up, knew, right? No one likes it. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. no one likes it regardless. What do you think is something women find difficult to accept about men? Um, That there's no real reason why, there's no good reason why a guy would have slept with somebody. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what I mean by that is, oh my God, how can you sleep with her? She was there. <laughs> I had nothing to do on a Thursday. And she was available. Yeah. And you know what? I got this joke that I do where I say, every guy has got that one girl that they are taking to the grave. <laughs> you could no never comment. let anybody know you went there. You would, you sometimes, you don't even want to let your memory know. <laughs> That you would, if you could bleach your memory, that every guy's got that one girl that you, that if anybody ever found out you even entered, you done anything with this girl, like you, you haven't told the man them. You, you would deny this woman like, like, like uh, Peter the Jesus. <laughs> yeah. You, you would. <laughs> do you know how, do you know how you know? How you know is when like, you go to a boy like, oh, how's your holiday? Oh, yeah, you know, blah, 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 this happened, met this thing. Oh, is it? Like, let's see Instagram. Nah, it's calm. Nah, yeah, <laughs> it's nah. calm. Don't worry about it. Brother. Oh, I, she doesn't have Instagram. What girl doesn't you, have Instagram you today? Would, if you saw the worst thing I've ever been with, you would turn the cameras off. <laughs> go check. Uh, brother, I, I, let me tell you something. Every man oh. has that one. One. I beat the fifth. I'm not saying, I'm not confirming or denying. <laughs> I'm not I'm confirming. You, I'm telling or you because that's what men are, and sometimes women just can't understand because they match us on their sexual standards. Yeah, do you know what I mean? They 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 find it hard to just fathom how men operate in the sexual market. Yeah, right. It's not about the nicest, beautiful, most aesthetically. None of that. We don't. Mm. We're, we're we're horrible, ladies. We're horrible. <laughs> yeah. If you see some Tell of the me. women that men have been with. <laughs> The that men you your, find super desirable. You're yeah. like, huh? Oh, so you know you know that time when um there was this thing about Usher with this big girl, remember? Yeah. You remember? Yes. All the guys were like, yep, you hit that. Yeah. All Probably. the girls didn't believe it. No, there's no way. She's car chasing. No man that jumped out the window and said nothing because man was like, mm. Well, he, it happens. he gave us some 8701. Hey. <laughs> tell you that much, yeah. They didn't you turn on that one. He <laughs> did he turn he, on that he, one? Usher hit that blood. Wow. Yeah, ain't no man come out and defend it. So I'm so I'm saying, that, yeah, man. That's the biggest guy, Drake, Kendrick, all of them got the one girl that you're like, what? You're like, who? Two teeth? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> man, man, brother, listen, it's like, me. hey, look, the, the head feels good with it. Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it. What do you think? Uh, what do you think the equivalent is for women? What do you think the equivalent is where we would see a gorgeous woman and be like him? Like, what do you think? Obviously, it's probably it's not going to be the sex, right? I think no. Most of the time, it's like this guy does nothing. Mm. This guy does nothing. This guy mm. hasn't worked. Facts. This guy doesn't work. He doesn't make any money. He's at home. He's got his name on the orange juice in the fridge at his mum's house. <laughs> He's 35 mm. and you gave him some because he's cute. Yeah, yo, that's big facts. Actually. And man, them can't accept that. When you're the guy that has to go and work and you're grinding, you're doing well. Yeah. And then my man's over here on the couch in his mum's house with his name on the orange juice talking about, you know, Gavin's juice. <laughs> and you're, you know what I mean? Like, and you're yeah. doing well as a woman, you're flying, you got the, you got the pick of them. 
right? You're bad, you're fine. But because this guy will blow your back out because he has nothing else to do. <laughs> Go all the practice in the world. All the time, all the time the world, to practice. All right? the time to practice. You will throw away all of that stuff for this dude. And that's when guys are like, how? Mm. Why are you rewarding this man? Yeah. What's the point of me doing what I'm doing if all I got to do is that? But the reality is I don't look like that guy to, to this woman. Yes, yes, And yes. I, And I, I've always felt like aesthetics was a guy's race. Yes. That was a guy's race. Now women are saying, because, you know, when 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 when, um, when you told the guys, oh, I met this girl, yeah, what do we say? What she look like? What she look like? What does she look like? Women is, what does he do? That's not the case anymore. What's his ability to provide? Right, but th that's you. not the case anymore. Now it's, what does he look like? Mm. And that's where it's scary. It's like, they don't care because, maybe that's because they're true. out earning people now, mm. they start thinking, well, sh shit. Maybe it's a masculine thing to kind of be like, what does he look like? Because you're not worried about him providing for you. So now it's like, what does he look like? Because guys don't worry about women providing for us. So maybe it is an aesthetic thing. We would date the girl that works in cashier number three. Yeah, yeah. Give a damn where you work. We don't give a damn about none of that. Cashier number three. She's yeah, size eight. What do you mean? We'll tell the whole world I met her in the post office. <laughs> it will not work the other way. No. You can't no. tell her you met her in the post office. You got to lie and say you done something else. Do you think that... If she's like, okay, what does he look like? That's a reflection that she's not at a stage where she wants to settle down. Because if she's at a stage where she's like, okay, I want to find a guy who can take care of me or, you know, that I can build a life with, have a family with. Now it's like, okay, now it does matter to me yeah. what he does, his capability to provide frame. I firmly believe that. I think any woman that goes aesthetic first isn't ready to settle down. No. You, there's nothing about that that screams uh, maturity. Mm. from a woman's perspective. Yeah, right? <laughs> before because, a man is okay. Because you know what it is? The reason why it's a double standard is because we require nothing from you. Um, 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 look, when a man walks in the room with a beautiful woman, there's, there's, we gain something from that. Yes. That's like a Rolex watch. Status. You can get a loan when Respect. they see you with a Ro Rolex watch because they go, okay, you can afford that. Yes. So this person must be around money. Mm. Right? When you're around a beautiful woman, it means, okay, well, you can get you know, you, you can get the top tier mm -hmm. and it and it and it makes other believe it or not, and whether it's right or wrong is not my my position, but mm -hmm. it means something as a man when yes. you walk in with a beautiful woman. Yes. That's currency to us. It gets you in rooms that you may not have got into mm, without a, a, a woman. When has a beautiful man ever, ever got a, a woman, woman <laughs> get something? Like, something apart from guest list. It's, tr it's true, you know. When, when have you walked in with, to a bank with a beautiful, handsome guy and they're giving... <laughs> there's no <laughs> currency either. with a good-looking man. What does a good-looking man so give you? So true. I mean, please put it in the comments because maybe I'm, I'm I'm ignorant and I'm blind. No, but what true. does How does a beautiful man help women in socially, economically in this world? Nothing. It, it doesn't. I'm, it, apart from bragging rights with friends, I guess, but ego. If it, it was tapping into your ego, ego. But but guys, actually, we get something. We, we we'll get loans. We'll get invited to this club. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and we, we know even like just from a nightclub level. Oh, he knows loads of girls. You know, get mm. make sure he's on the guest list so he can bring them. So he can bring them. Like like there's this this transactions. Even even to uh, even to other women, yeah. it makes you look attractive. When have you ever heard? A girl say, yeah, man, I'm going to bring all these guys to the club and they're handsome. And... No. Do, do you know what I mean? Let's, I mean, please, I want to learn. <laughs> this is a learning moment. Please put in the comments, what do women gain socially and economically from mm -hmm. a, having a, a handsome man or an attractive man? Apart from ego, that's so... It's true. Hope you really enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode where that clip is from, then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode. And if you're ready to claim your man today, enroll in my program below and I'll see you there. Wishing you an amazing day.